DJ here from Reptiles for Centuries. Today we've got another clutch cutting and another reveal video for you guys. This is actually from the Blackhead Pod project. We didn't end up with so good odds, but we still had some amazing babies. So let's go see what we got. Okay guys, so this is Clutch 50. This is a pastel blackhead, uh, double head clown part male bred to a Mojave part female. And as you guys can see, there's a little pup here. So let's go ahead and see what we got in this clutch. So the goal is for some blackhead part um, combos, or at least some blackhead parts. First baby looks like a pied. That looks like a blackhead Mojave, uh, or yeah, it could be a blackhead Mojave pied, perhaps pastel as well. So, right off the bat, we've got a pied. Let's see if we can keep up the odds. Okay, that's a pastel blackhead head pied. There were eight eggs in this clutch. We unfortunately lost one, but luckily we still have seven good eggs. So let's see if we can get some cool blackhead parts. That's a little part. Very dark blackhead part. So our first blackhead part we hatched out, and I must say it's an amazing, amazing example. See if we can eat another one of those. Okay, that's a Mojave pod. Don't think that's blackhead. So all of these babies will be 50% uh, posset for clown as well. So, so far, two pies and then three combos without pie. Let's see if we can get a, another blackhead pie combo here. That's a blackhead head pie, posse clown. Okay guys, so last egg, let's see if we can um, hit another blackhead pie combo. This one's head is literally just here. I'm just going to make a small snit. Okay, at least. So, wow. That looks like a Pastavi blackhead pied. So, overall, good odds. I see the one that's pipped is sticking out his head. Let's see if we can get a closer look at his head. Looks like the baby's very shy. But an awesome clutch guys, um, this is clutch number 30, so we still have around 50 more clutches to go, but so far we're very happy with the season. First baby, and we've got a head pied, and then he's 50% posse clown. So this is actually a very nice example of a wild type ball python. As you guys can see, is some nice clear banding, and it's got actually some nice orange coloration also coming through. So. That's the awesome thing about the ball pythons, even a simple non-gene animal or just the base gene ball python, the wild type ball python still varies a lot. Every one of them are different, different patterning, different coloration, different head stamps. So in, all, in general, the ball pythons are so versatile and so different. So let's go check out the first baby or the first morph of this clutch. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison between a normal and then a blackhead. So as you guys can see, a clear difference is definitely in the head stamps. Um, the blackhead has got a thinner eye stripe uh, going down the side of the head and of course a darker coloration in general as well. Looking at the patterning and the coloration of the snake itself, as you guys can see, blackhead brings a lot of black back patterning on the dorsal striping and also gives it a 
a yellowish golden golden tint to it so that's the main difference between blackhead and your normal wild type wall pythons so this is a blackhead head pied 50 percent head clown let's go check out the next animal so one added gene added to the previous combo this is a pastel blackhead head pied and all of these values are 50 percent head for clown and as you guys can see is blackhead actually or pastel in the blackhead combination actually complements each other um, it brings out a lot of yellow yellowish coloration and it also makes the alien heads and the side patterning a lot more spread out so pastel and blackhead actually works extremely well i know the pastel blackhead ultramorts are also extremely awesome so this is another nice little female and i'm excited to work with the blackhead clown part stuff in the near future moving on to the visuals from the clutch we are lucky enough to hatch this awesome part female she has a darker coloration to her but i'm not exactly sure if she's got blackhead even the head stamp looks completely different to other parts i've hatched out so far i've only got her labeled as a plain part so perhaps the customer in the near future will be lucky and it ends up being getting a blackhead pied 50% head for clown awesome little girl and I must say overall a good expression of the pied um, I'm a very big fan of the lower or mid mid white pieds just because the pied patterning is still very very awesome so yet again a pied 50% head for clown these are two more Harvey pieds uh, that hatched out in the clutch but these animals are so different so initially I thought perhaps that this male on my left hand side was a blackhead mojave pied but he doesn't have exactly the coloration I would have expected from a blackhead mojave pied so I think these two guys are just two stunning examples of mojave pieds so um, as you guys can see is yet again look how different these two exact combinations are you guys can see this male has got more patterning in his um, uh, pied saddles uh, that's the Mojave bleeding through and then this male has got on exactly almost no patterning in the Mojave pied saddles so that's what initially made me thought that this male could be a blackhead the head coloration of the two animals are ex actually exactly the same but as you guys can see the patterning between these two snakes are completely different so let me know, let me know down in the comments what you guys think do you think this is a blackhead Mojave pod or you think we lucked out and just hit the Mojave pod? Either way, it's still a stunning snake and it's going to make a great, awesome animal. Then the best baby in the clutch, this is a blackhead pastavi pod. And I must say guys, I'm actually very, very impressed with this combination. As you guys can see, is the pastel with the Mojave added to each other washes out the patternings, but you can still see some darkness coming through in the pied saddle here so, so awesome combination it's a little female i'm contemplating of actually keeping this female back so this is a blackhead pastavi pied 50 percent head for clown and i really do believe that the blackhead pied stuff in the near future has got huge potential so maybe we need to keep back to this female and later on try for the super blackhead pieds in the near future thank you guys for watching this video as you guys can see is a okay, Thank you guys for watching this video. Pied has been one of my favorite animals since the day I've been starting with the ball pythons. And as you guys can see, there's also still a lot of room to work with pieds. I'm excited to add the blackhead pied combination into mahogany, black pastel, and the list goes on. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.